Peter Hewitt, La Artistina here. Today I thought we'd continue on with looking at some of my older artwork. You've already seen some of my more recent stuff from my art journaling where I've been experimenting with different art products. But in the past I used to do a lot of character art and line art and I thought you might like to have a look at what I've done. In this video we're going to look at original character art. What is an original character art? Well, the easiest way to explain it is, well, think of Harry Potter. Before Harry Potter and the series were a series of books, they were characters running around in the mind of J.K. Rowling's. Now, she's not unique. A lot of people that I know have little characters uh, running around in their head. Sometimes they write stories about them, or if they're artists, they like to draw pictures of them. And if they're artists and writers, and then they'll do both. I used to belong to uh, several different online clubs where people who had these imaginary characters and were artists like to draw each other's characters as gifts. So this is a collection of some of those pictures that I did for other people based on their own ideas of characters and some of these are also pictures of my own original characters and also pictures that I've done as commission work and pictures that I've drawn for books that have been published. So to start off with now this picture is of a little foxy lady that I drew for myself. She's a fox picture that I drew in pencil and then I outlined using fine liner. Then I scanned the picture into a digital manipulation program and just coloured it digitally using all the special effects that I could find in the program, you know, to give the little light flares and stuff. It looks very fancy. It's actually, it's fairly easy, but it is time consuming. This is very, very early in when I started doing uh, original character art. As you can see, I already had some idea of anatomy and how to draw, but this is really quite early stuff for me. And as you can see, my digital colouring is pretty rubbish because I didn't know how to use the program. Yeah, I think it was a couple of years before I did that fox picture at the front. But that was a picture I think I did for one of the exchanges of somebody else's character. I'm afraid I don't remember whose characters they were, only that they're, they're characters that other people have created, but I've drawn in my style. Drawn with a pencil, I think. I didn't think I put any ink on that one. Here's a couple of fun ones I did for myself. Uh, again, I just drew that one just so I could try and learn how to use the, the digital colouring program. Again, these backgrounds are just special effects. They're fairly easy to do. The time-consuming bit is the, the actual colouring itself. It looks very pretty and it's very effective, but at that time it would have been quicker for me to hand colour them. Uh, I'm a bit better at it now. This is quite old. Uh, here's a couple more pictures I've done for exchanges of people's characters. They're my interpretation of them. The printouts are pretty awful because the printer we had wasn't a particularly good one, but you can see what, it, what they look like. I did that one for a competition I can't quite remember again I use the process of drawing them with pencil uh, outlining them with a fine liner importing them into the computer and then coloring them digitally now all the pictures you're going to see are digitally colored a lot of them that I'll show you in the next book are hand colored and there isn't very many in this book so we'll move through them fairly quickly this is an original picture I did for myself and I sent in to be a cover of a local sort of Ashcan magazine. That's another exchange picture I did. This is a picture that I did for Brianna, who is a lovely lady who ran one of the art exchanges that I belong to. These are her characters or her story. This one was inked using a, just a ballpoint pen and I liked the effect that it had with the ballpoint pen because you get this really lovely gradation it looks rather like a, um, a print an old-fashioned print and then I took this picture and imported it into the digital software and I colored it in the digital software to give it this nice dark look with all the glowy bits and some more of the same more characters that belong to other people that I've given them pictures of my interpretations of their characters as gifts. Uh, this one you might have seen around. This is actually my husband's character, which I drew for him and then coloured and he uses that as his avatar. This one, oh, I spent a good deal of time on this one. Um, lovely, lovely girl who uh, created this character. Had a lot of fun with it. 
this was actually just a, a straight off gift to a couple I knew online through Deviant Art. Now, here we go. Here's more from the exchanges that I participated in. This is a rather funny one. It's a mole and a rat, giant sized, very, very big ones battling through the universe. Um, yeah, strange idea, but uh, I had fun creating it. More pictures. This is the uncolored line art for another picture I did. I don't think I ever actually got around to coloring this one. There's another copy of what's on the front. This is just one I did for myself, which I haven't colored. Another one I've done for myself. And this is for a very special, special artist. She's a lovely lady who does her own online comic. I've got a coloured version of that somewhere, I digitally coloured it. Uh, this one was done for a book. Um, it was a rule book for um, a handbook for a game. And this is another one I've done just for myself. Another one which was printed in a local Ashcan magazine. And another one I did for myself. Oh, that's what my stuff looks like when I first start. It's sort of very rough, kind of a pencil sketch, and that, that's where I build up from. I might complete her. I forgot I'd done her. I rather like her. Okay, anyway, I'll move on to one of my other books. Now, this book, our pictures that I've done, again, it's a mixture of original character exchange art, where I've gifted um, pictures of other people's characters to them. These are mostly coloured in with Copic markers. Now, for those who don't know what Copic markers are, they are these hideously expensive artist quality alcohol markers. I've got heaps of them. This is just one of my sets. And um, I'm not rich. But I have been collecting them for about 13 years now, I think, 13, 14 years. So I've amassed a bit of a collection and they're gorgeous to work with. But you know, when I say to people on my coloring videos, uh, alcohol markers will bleed through. I'm meaning these buggers as well as um, Sharpies, etc. But if you don't want to worry about bleed through, these are gorgeous things to color with. And you'll see the sort of results that I get for them in my own art in this book. really super expensive like you know sell your firstborn expensive here's a picture I did for myself I think that one also featured in a local Ashcan magazine is the original piece of artwork colored in with Copic markers so that's the kind of coloring that I can achieve with Copic markers and sort of the way that I do metal as well to make it look shiny this is an exchange piece that I did also colored in with Copic markers This is an exchange piece as well. I'm sorry, I cannot remember the original people who um, came up with these characters. Uh, I did not ever keep a list of what I did. I just kept the, the pictures themselves. This you might recognize. And this I colored in with pencils. And I think a little bit of Copic marker underneath. This picture is one, it's actually a small ver print version of it. The actual picture is twice the size of this and it's one I did for one of my nieces of her characters. Whoops, excuse the boobage. Okay, this is supposed to be G-rated, so excuse the boobage, but these are more characters that I have created for other people. Well, I have created artwork of other people's characters. This is cute, I rather liked her. And more, I think I added the fox to this guy because I thought he'd look cute holding a fox. This this isn't this is a this is actually an anthropomorphization. Oh good, is that even a word? Of a dog that um, belonged to my family. Actually, I think it belonged to a mum and my sisters first, and then my mother took over looking after her. She's candy, she was a long-haired chihuahua. So I've drawn her as a little character there. <laughs> Again, all these pictures are colored in Copic markers, mostly with some pencil. If I take this out, I might be able to show you what I mean. Okay, right, here's what I mean. If 
I hold it up here, you can see the lad's trousers that's coloured with Copic markers and then I've gone over it with a olive coloured pencil, a dark olive coloured pencil just to get more, a bit more of the shadows in there. It's a technique that I really like to use. This one, oh, 2003 I drew this one so I've been using it for a very long time. Also I've actually done it with the face as well. I've used a purple pencil just to pick out the shadows in the skin. Right, move along, we'll leave that one there. More characters that I've redrawn for people. Another one, background here. I think I did that with crayon on the background just to do something different. This, oh, hello, this is characters that my husband and I played in World of Warcraft when we were playing Horde. Um, if you're familiar with the online game World of Warcraft. I drew this one, let's think. Actually, I think I was at a Christmas party at a restaurant for my, my husband's, one of the places my husband worked and I didn't know anybody there and I was bored so I took pencils and paper as I usually do and just sat down and started sketching and actually it was good because that sort of generated conversation and I like a little link to meet people. I didn't actually finish this, so this is all I got done on the night. I might come back and revisit this picture because it's pretty good. More exchange art. This must have been a Christmas, around Christmas time, Christmas themed. This piece is, actually it's not the original, this particular niece of mine loves rabbits so I drew her an, an, an anime sort of style um, bunny goddess sort of theme. More exchange art. This is a character belonging to Apis Tetra, that's her Eggman, she has an online comic about them. Quite a few years ago, I'm not sure if it's still available online, but that was my gift to her. And this is more, I'm doing a bit more um, anime, manga sort of drawing here. It is all the rage, so I was experimenting with it. Again, as I said, all of these have been coloured in with Copic markers. This is from a well-known series of books by a well-known fantasy authoress. And if you can tell me who it is, leave it down in the comments section. And another exchange piece, hang on, if I turn these around and you can actually see them properly, how's that? There you go, there's that one. This is one of the first pieces that I did uh, when I was really getting into doing exchange work and this was for a competition. I didn't win, I came second, but it was fun. And here's another piece that I've done as well. Again, based on a story being written by another one of the people that I knew through the online exchange art groups. This is an online comic series as well, characters from it. Here you can see this is the original artwork which has been what I call pencil inked where I've used a graphite pencil, fine graphite pencil to do the line work and then I've printed it out, printed out a copy and um, coloured it in with Copic markers and the reason I did that is because if I stuffed up the colouring in I've still got the original that I can print out again and redo. This is more of the uh, exchange artwork. I did quite a lot of them. This, this isn't even all of it. This is just what I happen to have sorted into a book. I've got heaps and heaps of stuff. Oh, this is original. This is Fire Rose, who is another character I played with on World of Warcraft. And this is my interpretation of a, a female dwarf warrior. I've actually colored this picture in digitally, but I don't have a copy of it to show you. It is available to see on my online art gallery in DeviantArt and I'll include a link to that below in the comments section if you want to see lots and lots of Now this is my interpretation of a character belonging to a Japanese comic book artist Rumiko Takahashi his name is Inuyasha this is actually based on a fan story that somebody wrote about Inuyasha Right, turn the page, here's some more pictures of Inuyasha. Now if you want to see what he looks like, when drawn by Rumiko Takahashi, this is the character himself. 
and he has a long series of mangas or comic books and he also has his own um, TV series, comic cartoon series as well. I liked him a lot so I drew my interpretation of what I, he would look like if he was my character. This is more, this is a commission piece. This is, I think this is also a commission piece. As you can see that's kind of, oh he's holding a lightsaber so it's a some sort of Star Wars fanfic or fan character. Mm -hmm. And these are superhero characters. This picture, uh, one of my favourite pictures ever for one of my favourite artists ever. She's a, this is another exchange picture that I did of one of her characters. The interpretation with this one though was that I had to draw a character of hers who was a normal human being in her comic series but I had to draw her as a cyborg with unusual wings. So this is what I came up with. With her character I've retained the, the fluffy pink hair ponytails and the fluffy pink she wore a big fluffy pink um, I think it was a jacket but I've retained the fluffy pink just in these in the arms here and the hair and the rest of the character is all my original proportions and my original design for it and again you can see the way I like to color metal with Copic markers to make it all look kind of shinily and sparkly this is another piece I did um, for somebody as an exchange this was a My Little Pony exchange, not the modern My Little Ponies, but the old style My Little Ponies where we had to draw somebody else's character as a little pony. This was a piece I did for one of my nieces on request. Another little piece that I just did for the fun of it. Uh, another piece that I did for the fun of it. This one I haven't actually finished. Um, that one, oh, you might have seen the line art for that, I think I showed that before. Other thing that we did on our um, art exchanges is uh, make uh, sort of like um, chain, well, what would you call them? We did, we'd made comic books but what we did was that everybody who wanted to be involved nominated a character or a couple of characters from their own imagination or comic series and we just like passed the chain around where everybody had to contribute a page or two of the comic using everybody's characters and these are the two pages I contributed. Mm. I haven't got the text in here because the text was digitally added later along with the colours. That's another exchange piece. Um, all done with copy markers again. Oh and that one. That one I think that's an original piece that I did just for the fun of it. Now for people who are asking for a comic, a uh, colouring book, this is sort of what you'll get from me if I do one. It'll be art sort of similar to this kind of thing. Probably not people so much as animals and things. And But uh, that this will be the sort of line art you'll be trying to cope with colouring if I ever do one. That's another exchange piece. That's another comic piece that I wrote for somebody. These are a couple of original pieces of line art. This is probably more that you'll get in a colouring book from me. Something, something along these kind of lines. That's a, a, a native cat or quoll, which is a little uh, carnivorous um, animal that lives around my area. And uh, they're a, a marsupial, so they have pouches. And this is a mother checking her baby. And a young quoll sort of going to sleep in a tree. Mm -hmm. Uh, now this I did for somebody and I'm sorry I can't remember who I did it for but these two pictures were for a, a, an illustrations for a story somebody was writing and I'm not very good with vehicles at all but I had to come up with something that looked like uh, some kind of futuristic road train truck and that's what I came up with mm -hmm. And oh, I think I said that's just a couple. That's very, very old. That's prehistoric. You can see how far I've come there. Uh, here you go. Have a look at it. Yeah, some kind of griffin creature. And that's a very personal drawing that I did. Anyway, I think that's plenty. It went on for a bit longer than I thought it would. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will be doing one more of these videos in which I will show you my original character, the one that everybody else was drawing. Not only 
my original character and my own drawings of it but also the comic book which I created about him so that'll be next in line and that'll probably conclude my series of my own um, past art anyway I hope you've enjoyed this little tour and um, leave any comments in the section below as usual uh, if you like this kind of thing, if this is the sort of thing you'd like to colour, I'll consider some of these pictures to create in a colouring book. And until next time, happy colouring! I hope you're enjoying any colouring adventures that you are currently on. And until next time, happy colouring!